what what we know about integrations ma anyone just give me any idea like what you know about integrations anyone integration is nothing but it is facilitating the communication between two applications or systems yes communicating or making a bond between two systems okay that is what integration is simple so now when we say integration okay why we need to integrate okay there are multiple purposes okay i think did we discussed or no don't know but let's say integration right simple okay let's take one project okay it covers everything so your client okay your client is 25 years old company okay so till 2021 they are using one tool called maybe remedy remedy for incident management or jira maybe remedy or jira i don't know whatever it could be both are maybe same kind of no not same but they are incident management tool at least one is incident management tool i know jira is incident management tool okay so now after after 2021 they felt like okay they they are uh, they are improving their uh, this thing okay little wider so they want to make into cloud they want to migrate to cloud so they took service now as an option even service now also support instant management so they also have story management demand management so many managements so service now they are taking service now as an option okay till this point clear ma Yes, no. Yes, sir. Huh. So now, when you see this particular thing, okay, how, what could be the steps? What could be the high-level project steps? Steps, or high-level project we will be doing when we have this kind of requirement. First thing is, see, in incident Jira, let's say Jira, we have incident management, right? So we need to replicate the same image in service now, incident table. right agree or not so you will be stop using jira and you are you will be start using service now right that's what the migration is right yes or no yes sir yeah so to match the fields okay maybe if you have additional 10 fields here you need to create additional 10 fields if you do if you want to uh, remove some fields you need to hide them inactive them so you match the image of this jira incident management to service now incident management that is a first int what is the first implementation okay so first thing now next thing what could be the next activity service now will give you some default records also in incident management table okay just remove them so you should not have out of the box like service now dump data right so clear the table that is also second thing okay so image mapping okay and clear the table just time writing orally you okay, can just some guesses okay uh, clear the inc table in incident and then what could be the next steps ma data transfer okay data transfer okay so data transfer from jira to service now right and let's say how we do it we can't stop this jira on friday night and then you can start you can start using incident, you can start using service now on saturday morning we can't do that right so the project the migration project will take minimum 3 months or 5 months during that time both systems will be active even people will use jira and we will force people to start using service now also slowly okay on one fine day we will decommission jira and we will ask everyone to start using service now agree right this point is valid right yes right now if this is the case okay data transfer is one thing and second thing is let's say 
during this three months or four months of time if any ticket is created or any ticket is updated here those two platforms in the sync let's say i have opened one incident here the same incident should be replicated in this table also if i open the same incident here updated that should go on updated in jira also okay if we don't make this one then the records the data will be not matched the data conflict will come agree or not yes no yes 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 yeah exactly are these steps are fine ma are this particular uh, discussion is everyone agreed agree to these discussions please confirm sir image mapping means sir image mapping means when you launch this application jira when you say new uh, incident okay there you may have 75 fields in jira Okay, in, in service now, mean 75 means they created so many, Jira developers created so many, like 25, 30 extra fields based on the project scope. Right, Nama? Now, they will be using this one as a tool. So, this 25 extra fields, okay, should be created here also with all the definitions, all the logics. You got it, Ma? Yes, sir. Right? Maybe here, you have extra field here but in jira you don't have that field maybe you need to remove that field here remove means inactive go to dictionary inactive that field you got it and here you have uh, maybe 25 communications here you need to implement the same communications so the image mapping in a sense whatever the users are using in jira the same functionality should come in service no side also that's what the meaning of it could be not only fields but every logic emails notifications okay fields their relationships scripts okay client scripts server side scripts all the stuff that's where we will do implementation when someone will say what is what you implemented they will service now give you a fresh image and you take all the requirements of your client and then create from scratch starts from creating fields building the logics uh, everything client script ui policies business rules data policies everything right nama clear yes sir mm -hmm. now when we see this one image mapping all our developer concepts will be covered clearing the data one shot go to the table okay if, how you can create the how you can delete the data from a table simple Okay, just go to data, go to table, but go to table. Okay, and if you want to delete any table, like let's say you want to delete the data of incident table, you no need to open uh, list view and then select and delete. Okay, just to go to table, there is one option. Okay, so see here. Here also you have delete all records, but if you don't find it here, maybe you can also see somewhere. I think that, that is the same thing. Yeah, delete all records. If I say delete all records, okay, if I type delete or D here and then say okay, the table will be empty. Records will be removed. Okay, so this is simple. Deleting is always easy. Okay, now data transfer. This is third one, data transfer. These two are clear, ma? Everyone? Yes, no? First two points are clear, everyone? Why should we delete data? Why should we delete data? Because ServiceNow will give you raw data, sample data. See here. Let's sample it. Uh, so, dummy data. See here, when you create an instance, you are getting by default all these instances, right? Fresh. So, this is not our client data, right? You got it, ma? Can we keep these incidents for our client? No. These are something else. We should have our client data. So we should delete it. We should clear the things. Make sense, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, this third point is our first type of integration. 
okay so now okay type one where is type one here okay now the data the source okay the jira tool from last 25 years or 10 years okay i don't know the history of jira how old it is but they hold the jira tool jira server is holding the entire incident management data for this particular client okay now we need to get the data maybe connecting to connecting the two platforms and then get automatically or the jira administrator will provide you the data in the form of excel sheet or a csv file okay then get the data and transfer the data to service now you can connect maybe if you have directly the server jira server okay you can connect with the uh, server manage, management and then uh, get the details and then connect it or if they send you the details in a form of excel sheet or a csv file that also you get it but you have this jira as a source and you have service now as a destination you will be data you will be doing data transfer okay so for this data transfer we go for the first way of integration that is data source import sets transform map clear ma yes no yes yes sir. everyone clear yes sir now yes, second sir. yeah next now second thing is data sync platform syncs the jira and service now they should be sync if i create one incident here the same incident should be replicated there here we will be getting okay web services ideally when you say web services it is rest or soap or maybe something called scripted web service that is little advanced but at least we will we will be strong in rest or soap okay using rest we will make a connection between these two okay two platforms what are the two platforms jira and service now and then we create some rules maybe business rules or schedule jobs whenever something happened there it comes and hit this endpoint and then generate the record or update the record or delete the record all crud operations okay this is second level of second way of integration is that clear ma yes no so this is base okay if, if we don't have this description in the mind na, if you start seeing any integration you don't understand anything because it it is like a uh, it is like a movie where you don't know the language without subtitles this is core we need to understand this one first when we are saying integration what exactly it is this is the definition of integration someone told right connecting two platforms but why we need to connect it what is the purpose everyone clear with the definition of integration yes no please confirm my yes, sir. yes.